What's going on everybody? Welcome to our next episode of the LinkedIn Masterclass. This one is going to be really easy. You've already done the hard stuff, but now we're going to talk about your skills. You can list up to 50 of these in your LinkedIn profile, and I'm going to talk about the importance of selecting the right ones. So let's say you want to be a project manager. Well, you don't want to throw a whole bunch of digital media stuff in there, right? So with that said, let's go ahead and hop into this. Okay, so step one, once you're in LinkedIn, click on your profile picture and then you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to where you see skills. So once you're in skills, you're gonna have a couple of things here. One's gonna say demonstrate skills. You're gonna have a plus sign right here and you're gonna have a pencil so you can edit your skills. So what we're gonna focus on right now before we talk about any of these other things is we're gonna click the plus button. So what you wanna do here is based off of your headline, based off of your about section, based off of your experience section and everything that you learned from these videos before you're going to see a trend and this trend is what are you good at? What do you have experience in? And that's all you're doing. This is kind of that icing on the cake, if you will, that says, well, uh, I know that in all of my experience, I have project manager uh, sprinkled throughout the whole thing. And, and that's actually what I want to do. Right? So let's type in project management. Okay. And then that's going to allow you to add this skill to your profile. The second thing that you can do here is you can click on each one of these links that says, well, where did you get this project management experience? Um, so I will say as a career counselor, as a business owner, I got experience doing that. And, and pretty much through my entire Air Force career, I was doing some kind of project management, if you will. So as you continue to scroll down, you got an education uh, licenses and certifications. Maybe you have a project manager uh, certification, a PMP of some sort. Well, you would click that as well. And then honors and awards organization. So all this is doing when you list a skill is it's saying, where is this skill in alignment with your LinkedIn profile? Did you get this skill through your experience? Did you get it through your education? Did you get some project management experience through volunteering or maybe honors and awards? You have some project management uh, accolades, if you will, in organizations. Were you a part of any organizations whenever you were in the military to where you got project management experience? So once you have all the checks done and it aligns with what you think is correct, click save. Now, in my case, I already have that. So it's going to say that I can't do this because it's a duplicate. So let's go back to my skills section here. So I've got 44 of them listed. You can list up to 50. Um, so I should probably go back in and list six more and make sure the six more that I list actually are something that I want to do whenever I retire from the military. So that way recruiters can see um, what I am skilled at, but also skills that they can search whenever they're trying to find talent to fill for organization X, Y, or Z. So on the main portion of your skills tab, you have all industry knowledge, tools and technology, and interpersonal skills. For now, let's just go to all. And each one of these skills is one that I've already updated. And it's something that you are going to do as well. And as you can see, a lot of my stuff is social media communication, social media marketing, human resources. Uh, as a career counselor, that's probably the closest thing that aligns to what I have experience in um, during my last three years in the military. Video editing, digital marketing, audiovisual production, graphic design, multimedia development, training and development. Um, these are all things that I am highly skilled at. So in short, you just gotta figure out what you are good at. Is there a way to demonstrate that you are good at that based off of a LinkedIn test and capitalize on as many skills as you can, all 50, and sprinkle these skills throughout your entire profile. And what's really cool about LinkedIn is that you can actually demonstrate your skills via some of the tests that they have. Uh, for me, an example would be Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a video production, video editing software platform, if you will. And I can go in there and I can take this 15 question test that gauges my knowledge on how well I know Adobe Premiere and if you get in the top 30%, you can actually add this badge to your profile. So when recruiters or hiring professionals are looking for somebody with that skill, you can pop up. So let's check this out. So demonstrate transferable skills. Uh, you got human resources, sales, marketing, project management, 
and you got skills assessments down here. So for example, let's just go to human resources. Why do you think you would succeed in human resources? So let's answer that. You can record a video or you can write a response. Now I think this is really cool, especially like in my personal case, uh, record a video. So if you aren't shy with being on camera, you don't have to have a professional production studio like I've got. You can literally just use your cell phone, but you can record yourself telling a hiring official or a recruiter why you would be the perfect candidate for a human resource position. They can see your nonverbals. They can see your enthusiasm, your facial expressions, and they can see that you mean business. So as you go down the list, sales, marketing, and project management, those are all the same thing as what the human resources stuff is. But what's really cool as well is you can take a skill assessment. Now these are not easy, so you can't just hop in here and expect to pass one of these unless you have legit knowledge on how these things work. So for my case, if I tried to go in here and try IT operations and pass that, there's it's not happening. But if you talk about Microsoft Word, Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Excel, uh, I, have a good sh I have a good shot at that. And you probably do too because we've used these things in the military extensively. And last but not least, these skills are broken down into categories. They have recommended, and then there's industry knowledge, and then there's tools and technology. So the final step in this video is after you got all of your skills added, you can rearrange these things. And I've done this a lot over the past couple of years with my profile. Click on the pencil icon, and then you can go over here to the three dots, and then you can reorder. So basically, what I would recommend is add your top three to five skills on the very, very top. So what are you really, really good at, and what do you really want to do whenever you transition from the military? And just add that up to the very top. You can move these things around all you want. Uh, so that way, whenever somebody does see your profile, they can get straight to the point and then see what you're trying to get after. And the last thing here is endorsement settings. So with the endorsement sections, what happens is that when you have your skills uploaded to your profile, when people come and check you out and they see what you're all about, they can actually endorse you on any one of those skills. So when you go and you look at all these other people on LinkedIn and you see they have like these 80, 90 endorsements, that's all they're doing. Their skills are listed in their profile and they're networking with all of these other professionals across LinkedIn. And basically what's happening is that people that see and have worked with that person are saying, yes, I know that this person is good at project management. I'm going to endorse them for it. Or I know they are good at video production. I know they're good at marketing, human resources. So once again, the whole point of this LinkedIn masterclass series is to help you build your brand. And once you have your entire profile filled out, I'll say it again. I'm going to say it after every video. It's you need to link up with a mentor at American Corporate Partners, at Veterati or Four Block, and have them look at your profile to make sure that it actually meets what the expectation is out in the civilian world. The key thing for this LinkedIn masterclass is just you getting your information on the platform so that way you can showcase your skills and link up with a mentor to make it perfect.